So it's been one whole year of sim racing for me over here on YouTube, uh, and things have gone great. Thanks to you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel. Uh, it has led to a big moment. Uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers, and companies started coming out of the woodworks wanting me to uh, review, wanting me to use their products, stuff like that. Uh, and that's all fun, but for me, the fun comes from having a good product in my hands and being able to have the creative freedom that I currently have on the channel, and that has happened. A company has signed with me for the next year by the name of... Sim HQ, and one cool thing about Sim HQ is that they deal one specific product. Say hello to the Sim Magic Alpha Mini. And I know what you're thinking, uh, old Casey sold out. Well, that's not true. I'm not a sellout. I um, you know, uh, I don't believe in that. I believe in just having fun sim racing, and it looks like I get to use the coolest gear in sim racing for the next year, and uh, focus on what I like doing most, and that's uh, creating stupid content. So, uh, sell out or not, I think that uh, things are going to be going my way. Ooh, have a good day at school, kiddo. Love you. Love you too. Oh, I grew up so fast. All right, babe, don't make fun of me. I can't get this screen unfrozen. Can you help me out here? Never mind. This is the Alpha Mini. It is a 10 newton meter base. However, all the reviews I watch on it say it puts out about 12 to 13 and it almost satisfies that need of like 15 newton meter base, that, that sweet spot racers like to be in. This almost does the job. Um, so to me, I think I appreciate that they don't just put their, their cap on the, on the box. They're not like it's 10, but it barely hits 10. It's 10 and it excels. That's what we're looking for. Um, <laughs> oh, let's go. You know, I always forget to bring a knife up here for box opening, so. I figured today we would use this. Do you think do you think anyone's ever opened a Sim Magic box with a sword before? For the king. Okay. Now for the real moment. What does Sim Magic packaging look like? Very nice protective foam insert. A power cable with a with a power switch on it. Look at that. Got some Sim Magic mounting bolts here and an Allen key. USB cable. Looks like a hefty little a hefty little power brick. And for the moment you've all waited for, it's f***ing heavy. My God. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. Oh my God. Look at it. Oh man. I am, uh, I'm thrilled. If you and your significant other split up and they're crazy, they could definitely give this back to you through your window. This is one hell of a brick. Um, I don't know how many pounds this weighs. God, oh, oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so wimpy. Little ASMR for you. Here you go. How do you think about that? I believe it's got some real carbon fiber here. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Add a boy. Okay. So I'm kind of ashamed to admit it, but I, but I already looked at the steering wheel. We're still gonna we're so I'm still gonna show you it and everything. Um, but I was like a little kid. It was sitting in the corner of my room. I couldn't help but look. Uh, and I I opened the box and it was it was just like blinding how beautiful it was. And it's a little bit bigger than the CSL wheel. And then I ran downstairs and I was so excited. I showed my family and uh, I was like, Hey Whitney, look at this wheel. Look at this wheel. And uh, and she was like, Cool. And uh, and that was that was kind of it. This thing is beautiful. I love it. Um, I cannot begin to tell you how quality this thing feels. This is on a different, this is, this is like, for me, this is like from a different dimension. I've never held a, a sim steering wheel of this quality. I've only ever had the starter wheels. So for example, the T598, a great budget wheel to get you started in a direct drive space, but the wheel shows where they had to cut costs. It's plasticky and all that, you know? And then there was this one that came with the CSL DD, uh, a little bit more quality than the Thrustmaster one. It definitely feels good in the hands. The grips feel good, but um, still just nowhere the weight, nowhere near the weight that you get with a premium wheel like this. Look at the damn shifters. Look at this. Look at this thing. It does it, does it get better than this? Look at the, look at the, here. I'm getting, give you a close up. Look at the stitching. It's beautiful. And it's heavy. It's like three times the weight as my other wheels. And it's bigger. Look, look at the size difference. What is this gonna feel like? I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm making this damn video instead of racing. I wanna race, so let's let's do that. Let's get onto the rig. I just remembered the guy at SimHQ told me that like th th this quick release, you can like snap it into your real car depending on your model. This is gonna be so epic. 
Can't wait to drift. Oh, one second. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so sick. Mm. Damn it. You mean to tell me that I can't use this wheel on my 2004 Pontiac Vibe? Bullshit. Let's, let's mount the wheel. I'm not excited for this part. So this is the part of the video where you get to watch me watching me doing this thing. And um, it's so funny how little the base is on the rig. Um, how, how tiny it is, look at it. It's, Pretty. I also forgot to mention, this is the GT1 round version of this wheel um, in leather. They also sell it in Al Alcantara, Al um, fuzzy. Sell it, they sell it in fuzzy as well. If you're familiar with Sim Magic, apparently they have one of the best quick release systems on the market. And uh, here's the receiving end. It's got these pins in here that connect through here. Um, Boosted has a great video on this I watched last week. I'll link in the description. But basically, it snaps on really tight. You'll notice I still have no power hooked into this wheel at all. There's no power, but if you watch, whenever I rotate the wheel, the wheelbase lights up like it's uh, producing electricity or something. I don't know, this is probably a really dumb conversation. But I also wanted to show you, there's a cool thing you can do. If you spin the wheel hard enough, it'll generate enough electricity to power the wheel for a second, I don't know. To me, there's not enough science in the world that can explain this phenomenon, so we're just gonna reduce it to uh, sim magic. So I now have the wheel mounted with four bolts on the bottom of this wheel plate. I'm sure about any wheel plate would work, any universal wheel plate. Mine was very easy. I got it in a position that I like. I snapped the wheel on and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and run my cables and then we'll come back for some gameplay. This is the strongest quick release I've seen yet. I mean, I guess it's on par with the QR2 from Fanatec, um, but the bonus is it comes on the wheel, so and it's so smooth, it's so buttery smooth. Um, my wheel is still not being detected. I wonder if that's the way I'm doing it or... Um, they also have limit strength down here. I'm guessing this is the bump stop. So if I go soft, so when I hit the wall, there's some. There's still some give. Um, normal, firm, Jesus. Look at that bump stop. <laughs> my God. All right, so it's been about an hour and I'm here to save you some trouble. Make sure when you get your wheel and things like that, don't rely on this being the fix for everything. So my wheel wasn't recognized for this whole time. Um, and it turns out that you have to download their SimMagic All Wheel Updater as well. So basically plug your wheel into your PC, use the SimMagic All Wheel Updater to update the wheel, then connect it to the Sim, uh, Sim Hub software and there's actually a way to pair this wheel. Every wheel has a combination, so you can actually hold these encoders in for about five seconds. They'll start to flicker, and, uh, and then it will connect to the base. So that'll save you some trouble in the future. I also recommend clicking this right here, joining their Discord, because that's where I found all these answers. Any questions you have, you can find in that Discord pretty quickly. Oh, I'm ready to race, boys. Mm. So here I am in AMS2. I've got force feedback gain just set to 50. I don't really know. So I'm in the BMW M1 Pro car. Oh my God. Already, um, I can tell you that I really, really like the bigger steering wheel. Bound, I think this is switch camera. There's not a whole lot of buttons on this wheel compared to what I'm used to. So it'll be interesting trying to figure out how I'm gonna this is the squirreliest damn car ever. I'm gonna wreck it, oh God. Okay, okay. So far it feels good. Oh my God, it's strong. Oh, look at the catch on that slide. Absolutely quiet operation. The wheel's making no noise or anything like that, which is nice. Yeah, God, I'm so, oh my God, it's strong. Okay, okay. Like what's coming through the hands is so incredibly strong. Okay. All right, let's see how the carousel feels. If I can even hit it. Likely I don't even get into it. Oh my God, Jesus. My phone's ringing, it's probably spam. Oh, let's check it. Oh, dang it. Department calling about your Google My Business listing. That sounds important. We're on hold. We'll wait, we'll wait. Other than that though, it feels great. The uh, 
the textures coming through or something. Hey, thank you for holding. This is with Rise Digital Services. Am I speaking with a business owner? Yeah, that's that's me. Hey, sir, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for, for asking. I appreciate that. Um, I'm reaching out to you in reference to your business and verification up on FOIA search platforms. Are you familiar with those and how they work at all? Um, no. Right. Yeah, can I ask you a question real quick? For sure, go ahead. Yeah, have you ever sim raced? I'm actually making a YouTube video right now and I'm sim racing and uh, it's like the wheel's really strong. You said sim race? Yeah, yeah, I've got, I, I got a wheel in the mail today that I'm making a uh, video for my YouTube channel. So. I, I thought when you said sim racing, I thought you were talking about the actual like sims, like the game. Oh, no, 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 no. I searched no. it up, no, you're talking about an actual system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's all I got, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, she was nice. Let's go ahead and just turn the force feedback up to, let's say, 100. All right, let's go over the fast bit here, and this time I, this time I won't run off the road. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. We're gonna slow it down a little bit. A little bit of brakes, see if we can coast over. No grip, where's the grip? Where's the grip? That's enough of that. Okay, uh, all right, it's time to jump over and... It's time to jump over and try some rally. All right, so just so you see it, if you scroll through the games manager here, they do have like a little tutorials for each game and some recommended settings that you can put into the game. I think this is kind of nice. That was a terrible hairpin. Having a full size wheel. Oh, it's so strong. Okay, this is better. I turned up a couple friction settings in WRC. So much better. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh god. There's a bit of that that torque from the wheel. Oh, it's so sweet. Comes that hairpin right. Oh, hey, I'll take that. That wasn't bad. I don't know if it's if it's just the Newton meters or if it's sim magic or what, but the feeling of the road is better than better than anything I'd used so far. I'm in a race with myself, with a garbage version of myself. He's a sissy, he's got nothing on me. That was good. Look how look at me. Slaughtered my old time. Slaughtered it. So let's go give drifting uh, a go. And trust me, drifting is important because I have to make the boys out at Drift HQ slash SimHQ proud. Um, not a sellout. Just, uh, just, just, just a proud supporter. Let's try 59. Okay. Oh, that snap is quick. Oh, maybe too quick. Oh my God. Oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta figure it out here. I'm excited to drift, but I think I need the right wheel settings for it. Oh my. This video is from Janky Drift. So I have, I have force feedback settings now for drifting from another Alpha Mini user. By the way, I took some of these pictures. If you like these, you can come over to the Discord and look through the art section. Thank you. Okay, we can already see that this is, uh, this has helped me a bit, right? Oh, I don't have my e-brake bound. Oh, no. I got little noodle arms. I, I might need a little bit less strength. Yeah, this is so strong. Holy shit. Okay, okay. We're gonna... Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Ooh, that catch. You gotta be fast with the catch. It rotates so fast in my hands. I'm gonna need gloves something bad. I'm gonna blister my hands with this freaking wheel. My gosh, it's hot. Okay. Ugh. Oh, boy. I'm letting the guys at Sim HQ down. To be fair, I did also change the size of the wheel. I don't know, 
I feel like that shouldn't, ch I'm making excuses. Come on. Maybe you can hit me up, maybe you can hit me up in the comments with some good cars, uh, with some good drift cars to download and try. Hey, I'll take it. It's ugly. Ugly as shit, but I'll take it. Bang. Okay. Uh, we've drifted. We've rallied. We did a little AMS too. We've talked about the upcoming year for the channel, uh, and I'm excited to be using Sim Magic and uh, stick around, and we'll go over all the rest of the Sim Magic equipment in the future. Oh, there goes my shark. Oh no. I feel. Um, don't pay any attention to that. All right. So, it has officially been one week since I got the Alpha Mini. And that's right, I've been racing all week on it. I even did an hour and a half at Imola on ACC. Uh, and I think I would be hard pressed to say I found anything negative this week. Um, I had some hardware issues, but it was on Windows side and I got it sorted through a forum. I've talked about it so much in the video being quality, but it's, it's just, I grab it and it feels like I'm in a real car, it's insane. So I think if you're in the market, for upgrading your sim rig to something bigger or better, or if you're coming in with a good budget. I think SimMagix is a, is a wise decision. I, I, what are the competitors there? Uh, SimuCube and Asetek, I guess? I can tell you for sure you won't be unhappy with the Alpha Mini, and I think you'd even be pressed to find a forum that says you would be unhappy. Uh, it seems like the general consensus around the wheel is that it's good. So uh, I, I'm here to back that up, it's pretty killer. Also, if you are looking to get some, I don't even have an affiliate link, I'm just letting you know uh, that SimHQ, um, my, my new sponsor, which I might have mentioned once or twice, uh, they are running Black Friday deals if you happen to see this in time. And like their, their hydraulic handbrake is like 100 off. So if you live in the States, you could get it pretty quick. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, do your Black Friday shopping, get you some Sim equipment. That's it, uh, video's over, and um, I'll see you whenever I, whenever I get the, the P1000s. Hmm? Hmm, 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 hmm.